Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to Vibex Kitchen. Before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you can always get notified with our new videos. My plan with Vibex Kitchen is to share the challenges that we are facing in the daily production life and we can think together about how we can solve these issues. So we will have around two to three videos per challenge. The first video will be talking about the challenge itself, think how we can solve it. And the second and third video will be more about coding it and making it as a final product or a tool. We will share all these tools for free. So today in our first episode from VFX Kitchen, we are going to talk about machine learning and visual effects. Machine learning is no longer a buzzword. Now we can see a lot of projects running machine learning solutions that actually replace a lot of boring tasks that we used to do before manually. And as you know, machine learning solution requires like a high-end workstation, you need a good GPU, you need a good environment with all the dependencies, all the TensorFlow with respecting all the version, all this stuff. Today's challenge is how we can let all the artists who works at the studio um, start to use these machine learning solutions even if they have um, not high-end computers. They are running a different operating system. How can we let them use the solution still? If you're working at a studio that's running 3ds Max at all the projects, you most probably face the issue that we cannot switch to Linux because Mac is not available on Linux. And let's say now we want to implement a machine learning thing that actually works only on Linux. In that case, we have to find a workflow or a solution to solve these issues. So my approach would be that we have one workstation running on the operating system that we need to use for running this uh, machine learning solution. And we let the other workstations from the artist use it as a resource of power to run the machine learning solution. Let's have the super resolution as an example. Super resolution takes a low res image and gives you a high res image. That means that we let the artist using their less powerful workstation sending the low res image to the powerful workstation to process it. Basically, we are using the powerful workstation to process our images and send back the result. And to achieve this, we have two ways. The first option is by using TCP socket between the two computers. So the powerful machine will be the server and the artist workstation will be the clients. So basically they are sending the low res image to the powerful machine, it processes it and then send back the result. But this requires that the server side should know all the client's IP address so he can address it back when it sends it back. And um, the client, they should know the server IP address and port, which is totally normal. but it's kind of limited. If you're trying to have a new client, for example, if you want to use your mobile phone to super resolution an image, in that case, it's not possible because um, the server does not know your mobile phone uh, IP address. And in the end, you are kind of transferring a binary data. So maybe your phone will not be able to decrypt the binary data and show it as an image again. Could be. I have another approach, which is using a RESTful API. RESTful API it is as you are using a website. So if you type google.com, you're basically requesting Google to send you the information to show. So it gives you the Google logo. It gives you the tabs that you have to click on to open, for example, Gmail or whatever. That's better because it doesn't know any information about the client. It's basically you are requesting for information and then you get a result without knowing any information about you. So in that case, the artist workstation will send an image as a request to the server. The server will get the image, process it, and then send it back as a respond. It would be more easier to handle as much client as you have. If you have a new workstation at the, at the work, it will be easier to connect again to the server without having any restrictions or issues. Maybe by time you would like to extend it to be online, so you can have the server uh, being published online in, uh, using a domain. So you can still access the solution outside of the studio itself if you're going outside in the street and say, you know what, I would like to upscale this image. You can just submit it to the server and the server reply you back with a high res image. It's just about uh, how we make this connection. So that would be my approach. If you have a better idea, please leave it in the comment section below and let's discuss it. Maybe it would be much better than what I thought about. And in the next videos, we will be implementing 
the RESTful API to run the machine learning solution and making the request between the client and the server. The benefit of using a RESTful API that would be really easy to extend later if you have different type of machine learning solutions. So I hope the video was informative today. So if you enjoyed it, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you always get updated. And see you next time. Bye.